Racial disparities during the pandemic has been an issue for the past couple of years, and now the state issues its final report about where things stand. Good afternoon, I'm Rod Maloney. A short time ago, we got the results from a state report on racial disparities in health care during the pandemic. Governor Whitmer launched a task force early on to look into the issue, placing Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist at the helm. Our Sean Lay has more on what the Lieutenant Governor said about the report's conclusions. Well, good afternoon. All of us could see it and so many of you could feel it. We're talking about the impact of COVID on families of color right here in Metro Detroit. Here's what's happening today and what you need to know. What you're seeing here this morning is the state of Michigan's work to answer the question why COVID hit African American families so hard. What is it about the health care and health care system and what changes need to happen to help protect families from COVID? The focus here is on racial disparities, meaning why is there such a difference in COVID's impact on minority families than most any other group? The result of the state's work, the state will now focus on getting far more people health insurance and more health insurance if they don't have enough. Testing and vaccinations in hard hit areas will continue and a big time focus here on mental health awareness and treatment. We'll decrease the number of uninsured and underinsured people in the state of Michigan because just like having a doctor can help you get better health outcomes, having insurance helps a lot with that as well. We'll improve language accessibility in healthcare because Michigan is a big, beautiful, diverse state where there are hundreds of languages spoken. We need to make sure that people have access to it. We'll also make sure that there are no barriers for Michiganders who have disabilities <laughs> to be able to access all the care and services they need without discrimination. And we will increase culturally competent data collection analogous and work to mitigate exposure risks with, along with environmental justice communities around issues such as air quality. Bottom line right now, so many of the Michigan racial disparities, COVID task force works and findings now being implemented around the country to help other communities, not just here in Metro Detroit. We're going to continue to dig into the data of this study and share the key parts that will impact you and your family later today on Local 4. Sean Lay, Local 4. All right, Sean, thank you very much. The UI